you know, we would go out and uh, broadcast uh, football uh, and basketball games. And so, you know, we'd have a crew of half a dozen guys that would, uh, or girls that would work on the, uh, the broadcast. And we'd do it live. So the stuff I'm doing, you know, if I had a crew of half a dozen people, I could do live broadcast, but I'd have to hire some on-air talent to do the play-by-play -play and com color commentary. Yeah. But for what I do with a, a one-camera setup, it it's works. as good as what you see on ESPN. Yeah. Well, that's, you know, it's like we, each of the reporters here, we're usually responsible for our, our own photos. Okay. Our, our photographer does photos plus he does sports oh yeah photos as well so he's, he's spread all over yeah so like i i take my own pictures oh do you and i i i know a thing or two about photography but i'm not a professed photographer yeah but and you know you you go cover a car crash or a house fire you're at the mercy of the light right you know you can't yeah. bring any gear with you yep your one man show you guys run right, another God. person holding the speed light for you yeah That's just how it is no i know it's uh it's quite a deal. Oh, too damn tall. Yeah, man. How tall are you? I'm six foot seven. Six so. Seven. All right. Yeah. See, I was. Uh, all my friends were at least like six three, six four growing up. I was the shortest of all. Oh, were you? Yeah. They always told me I was the last one to know when it rained. You look like you're an athlete. Did you play sports? No. It's or? funny. I've only in the last year I've really started getting in shape and weightlifting a lot because I'm training uh, to start pro wrestling here uh, next year. Oh, okay. And so, only in the last like six months have I really solidly like started lifting weights. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's been fun. Be yeah, I had to do all at that. Home sitting on the couch, you know. Right, right. Well, I wish more people would get involved. You know, we've got this biking and trail system around here. That's it's a lot of fun. I it's the, really great. Yeah, I did the uh, the taco ride. Oh yeah, to Niola or yeah. Miniola. Yeah, Niola, Miniola. That would be a bike ride, man. Yeah, you know, to Miniola, that was way too much fun yeah way it's much fun. all right that's not gonna bother you is it do whatever okay. you want man all right okay brian uh so basically it, it we're, we're just doing a short summary sure on yeah it, 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 everybody's pretty much getting the same amount of space plus yeah. a photo of their bug so uh uh first question is why are you running yeah i uh, i don't feel that this government uh and its representatives represent us anymore as uh, citizens so uh, Congress has been bought out by the corporate interests uh, decades ago, and uh, you know we uh, the population of America has tripled since 1911 when uh, Congress capped the size of the House at 435. Right. So they haven't given us three times as many representatives in the last hundred years, uh, but they have given themselves more personal staff and more perks and more political power. So each congressman becomes the CEO of a small corporation and that's not representative government. Okay. You know, I'm here to be a voice of liberty and justice for all, uh, to stimulate a civil conversation between citizens about what kind of government we want to live under uh, and what kind of world we want to live in. So. Oh, that's all right. And I'll send you the video, too, of what I've said, so sure. you have a copy of it. You know, my only agenda is the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Okay. And so what are some of the... Uh what are, what are you viewing as some of the key issues for this election? Well, facing the country right yeah, now. Yeah, anyway. the uh, the debt crisis is uh, the biggest problem that's that's facing this this country. The uh, the way that our federal reserve system doesn't work for us. Uh, you know, we have a debt based fiat currency, and every fiat currency in the history of the world has collapsed at some point and that day will come here in America I don't I don't know if it's five months from now or right. five years from now but uh, are you advocating a return to the gold standard well that's what some economists have okay. proposed so uh, 
in terms of representing people, uh, I would represent them by counting everyone's vote every day. I would design an application for your phone or your computer and you can vote every day and you as a citizen would have as much power as our representative. Uh, my job would be to constantly, continuously communicate every day with constituents to inform them so that uh, when they go to, to vote every day on the bills, uh, they're fully informed citizens. And I, I don't. So really, it really, it's about bringing power back to the people. Power back to the people. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's like I. Uh, I made a vow two and a half years ago that if I was elected, I would serve for two years, and I would not take a federal paycheck to represent people in the district. And I would also take the other four candidates to Washington, D.C. with me if I was elected this, this term. And that way everyone in the district has representation. So everyone wins if, if I was elected. Nobody loses. Because each congressman is allowed to hire up to 18 paid staffers right. and a million dollar budget. So. Yeah, I know. So I, <laughs> I pay each one of yeah. these other candidates two hundred grand, gotcha. and I would take two hundred grand in terms of how to communicate and represent people. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we would come up with uh, some ideas on how to hopefully solve these these issues. The wedge issues is what really gets gets me. Well, what else is there besides you know besides the uh, the, uh, uh, the Federal Reserve? What else do you see? Well, I do not think that we should go to war with Russia or China. Uh, yet we're involved in conflicts in dozens of countries around the world. Uh, Congress has not declared war since 1941. Uh, yet we still have service members being sent on impossible missions. Uh, you know, with no through executive power, through executive yeah. power, and no clear exit strategy uh, into countries where there is no civil society. Isn't it, it now? If I remember correctly, isn't only the Marines are allowed to be sent, and yet we're still sending? Well, the War service? Powers Act allows the the president okay, to yeah. send troops into conflict zones for a certain short period of time, like ninety days, something, or something like, like that. that. But uh, Congress has to sign off on that, and they have been. But they also fund all of these uh, foreign interventions that are undeclared. So okay. Congress has basically uh, uh, failed in its duty under the Constitution to declare war. All right. All right. One more issue sure. that comes to mind. I'm trying to get everybody on oh, yeah. the issue. So what, what, what's your third? And My, I, not, it's like your most important issue, but what's the third issue that comes to yeah. mind? Yeah. Uh, I've. Since I started campaigning two and a half years ago, uh, the country is, has not been this highly polarized since the 1860s. Mm -hmm. And I fear that at some point there's going to be a armed physical conflict between the citizens and the government. Uh, we see the, uh, the rioting in some of the urban centers in the country right. over the police officer shootings. And, uh, you know, I, I worry that if the economy did collapse, that uh, people would, would act lawlessly. So. And, and so what are you, are you uh, proposing that we just have to find a way to... Uh, we we have to talk disaster? more. We okay. have to talk more. The, uh, the media has failed in its duty to inform the public. Mm -hmm. So it falls upon us, citizens like myself and others to become citizen journalists to actually get out there and stimulate what I call the great civil conversation right. that you know we did have one before the Civil War and there was one before the American Revolution so those uh, those events did not just suddenly uh, spontaneously occur you know there was people on both sides of issues and there's more than uh, there's more than two sides to every issue, so 
the way that uh, our politics has been uh, bifurcated into two opposing parties. Right. Uh, I'm living proof that uh, there's a third viewpoint and others that uh, are just as valid as the uh, existing two parties. All right, perfect. Uh, that's a good end point as okay. I think we're going to get. Yeah. Is there anything else? No, no, that's it. Perfect. So I See, literally, it's just really short. Yeah, no, 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 that's fine, that's fine. And I film this stuff so that I wish our congressmen and the other candidates would do this kind of thing to yeah. hold themselves accountable. Give us transparency. So. No, at, at our last, at my last newspaper in Sioux City, uh, whenever we would have a candidate come in, um, we would record it on video. Oh yeah. I think we would edit it down for time. That's yeah. About it. So yeah. It was, it was so, a nice thing. So. I mean, I don't like doing this stuff, but uh, <laughs> you know, I wear the hat to get people's attention. Yeah, it, it works. It works. It's yeah. a conversation piece. Yeah. But, I, th uh, I think I saw you at the, was it Neo, the Hoodoo Days? Yeah, I filmed okay. that Hoodoo Days. You were standing on yep. the ladder and yep. I saw the hat and I'm like, okay. Yeah, and yeah. I'm uh, I'm going to put that parade up here this week. Yeah. So I was in the helicopter. I did, oh, you I were right. Video. Yeah, you I jumped went up in the there. helicopter okay. and took a video. It oh, was that's fun. Cool. Oh, yeah. A lot of fun. Yeah, I've never been on a helicopter ride. So. <laughs>